And then I'm like, screw all y'all, I'm going home. You don't think my audience will be offended by that. I think they'll welcome some fresh direction. I think you've been watching too much Lars von Trier. Next! For Fire Prevention Week 2012, I thought it would be prudent to educate your audience on the dangers of fire. By all means, go ahead. Really? Okay. Well, I think you can make a lot of progress by simply labeling things that are flammable and inflammable. Flammable and inflammable mean the same thing, numbnuts. Prime's actually right on this one. Huh? Wait, what? Blame Latin. Next! That doesn't make any sense. Hey! Careful there, buddy! It's I, Captain! This is a Five Things intro pitch meeting. Do you have an intro to pitch? Uh, no. I can't work like this. Five Things is canceled this week. Wait! Way to go, man. Guys, it's me, blank. We know that. Yeah, we knew that. Thank you to the three of you. <laughs> okay, can't keep doing that voice and can't see for sh Thank you to the three of you who sent in sexy science story suggestions. Wait a second, only three of you? Sean's fans sure are some lazy mother Anyway, thanks to the three of you who cared enough about me, Captain Science, to send in your science stories. I loved them. Why don't I marry them, you ask? Who says I'm not gonna? There were more suggestions sent in than I have slots on five things, so you will find them all linked in the link dump in the info. First up this week is YouTube channel Periodic Videos. Like the name may imply, they've got a video for every one of the elements on the periodic table. My personal favorite. Potassium. One of my colleagues who used to work with it described it as evil. I should have used potassium and water to make my entrance a little grander. That doesn't make any sense. Next time. What's weird about potassium is you eat it every day. Every day. What keeps us from exploding? Number two this week is Hank Green's Psy Show. And specifically, the episode on Nikola Tesla. Tesla was a crazy man, but don't take my word for it. In America, loved it some Nikola Tesla. He was always immaculately dressed, he lived in fancy hotels, talked with a funny accent, made sweet-ass contraptions for their entertainment, like the first remote-controlled toys, and they never knew quite what he was going to do next. Did I ever tell you about the time Tesla introduced me to his wife? Did I say wife? I meant pigeon. Nikola Tesla fell in love with a pigeon. Third this week is one of my favorite programs on YouTube, Vsauce. Hey, Vsauce Michael here, and today we're going to discuss Deja Vu. No, that's not Wheezy Waiter just masquerading as someone else. It's Michael for Vsauce. My favorite video of his is Deja Vu. Although I don't experience that much Deja Vu, I notice Presque Vu all the time. And this is what happens when you're familiar with something, you know you know it, but for the life of you, at that moment, you cannot recall it. It's like, what's that actor's name from that movie? I've seen it 18 times. How can I not remember it? Wow. This story was sent in by Lewis, and it's about diamonds. Lots and lots of diamonds. See, on planet Earth, diamonds are pretty rare. I mean, I don't know if you've ever played a little game called Minecraft, but they're pretty rare. On a planet not that far away, instead of the surface being made of water and granite, the surface of the planet is made of graphite and diamond. With a size two times greater than Earth and a mass eight times greater, the quantity of diamond that could be available there is just mind-blowing! However, there could be one small problem. The planet is so close to its star that the surface reaches a temperature that is in excess of 3,900 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is one hot chalupa. And speaking of hot chalupas, let's talk about stars. Stars are often called big balls of gas, but that's not strictly true. They're made up of something called plasma, which is different to the three states of matter we see in our everyday life because it's so hot. Sean's YouTube friend Ross Axton has started a new series called Be Curious, and the first episode is all about stars. The yellowish tint to the sun, which reddens at sunset, is actually due to something called Rayleigh scattering, which is also the reason the sky appears blue. I don't know what it is about this guy, but he just sounds smart. It can't just be the British accent, right? Right? The lifespan of stars is so long that there have only been a few generations of stars in the known universe. I've been told I'm allowed to send the Charmy over here to give him some love. So do it! That does it for five. Alright, guys, I decided I'll do the show this week. I'll do it, I'll do it. What the hell? 
It looks like there's already a whole show on here. Okay, well, show's already done. I can work with that. Make sure you leave a like and favorite below. Write cookie in the comments if you don't have anything else to say. Follow me on Twitter at Sean B. Martin so that we can chat. Look for the Five Things Podcast this weekend, and I'll see you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week. I want to thank my guest host, Captain Science. Wherever there's science, that's where I'll be. How do you open this door? I don't understand that guy at all. Yes, many of you were correct last week that I was showing the Golden Gate Bridge. I was tired of no one getting one right, so I just decided to pick one that a lot of people would definitely get right, and you did. Thank you very much. Now, without Googling it, let me know what color you think the Golden Gate Bridge is. I bet you're wrong. After you leave your answer below, go ahead and go Google it and be surprised because I think you're going to be surprised. I don't have anything to pimp this week other than last week's Five Things podcast, so make sure you check that out, and the entire playlist of Ron and I getting all the way from Booty Bay to Stormwind on foot in Minecraft in WoW. I know that's very confusing, but just watch the videos. They're very funny. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Holy crap, the whole thing is down here. Oh my gosh. Bad guys and all. <laughs> Ow, what's hitting me? Spider. I didn't even see it. There's two spiders, two zombies, a creeper. Holy and here crap. come... Oh, no. We're just Your out of there. Your dog is attacking me. Oh, no. It's going to kill me. Where is it? Which one's mine? Sit. Sit. Whoops, that was... <laughs> I shot my dog. Sound test. Sound test on Saturday. Sound test two because sound test one was unsuccessful and the reason for sound test. Sound test number three. Is this thing on yet? Are we on? How about now? Test! Sound test! Is this working yet? Sound test! Sound test! Sound test! Is this on? Sound test! Sound test! Don't look at my nipples. Sound test, sound test, sound test. This voice is fun to make. This is the second time my mask is broken today. It's annoying. Did I ever tell you about the time Tesla introduced me to his wife? Did I say wife? I meant pigeon. Did I say, did I say wife? I meant pigeon. Pigeon. Did I say wife? Did I say wife? I meant pigeon.